Hello, my name is Ron Samuelson. I am 66 years old. I was born in 1953 on December 7th. I live in the Hudson Valley area of New York State. And um, I am recovering from two spinal surgeries that I had in 2019. One was to fuse my entire lumbar area. And uh, the surgery that I had last March was to fuse the vertebrae that are in my neck. Um, consequently, <clears throat> I am not able to do the kind of work that I used to do. Um, I still am a home energy consultant. Uh, what that means is that I know a lot about how to make a home more comfortable, improve the indoor air quality, um, and all that sort of stuff. That's what I've been doing since 2006. So we've been doing it for quite a long time. We started, we is myself and my wife Ruth, we started a, um, hold on a minute. Uh, gonna sit down. Uh, okay. Uh, there we go, that's better. I'm um, sorry for my hand over the camera. <clears throat> I'm a, a newbie when it comes to videotaping, but I'm doing it. So uh, my wife Ruth and I um, started this business, Home Energy Consultants, and we've been doing it, uh, as I said, since 2006. And what we focus on is a very specific area of, of this home performance industry. Our customers are 90% people living at or below the poverty level. Um, in other words, they are making so much income, their income is so low that they qualify for a program in New York called Empower New York. Empower New York uses the utility money. There's a little surcharge on everybody's utility bill and that fund is mandated to go back into communities. So our customers that we're <clears throat> improving the indoor air quality are, are homes that are really in tough shape. Um, that's the kind of work that I can't do anymore. Uh, in preparation for this surgery, I, um, we, I keep saying I or we, I, I mean we, uh, were able to, to, you know, uh, I don't know what the word is, karma, um, providence, um, I'm not good at finding big words, as you can see. But uh, we, we uh, interviewed somebody to take my place in the field. So I am now in, um, still in recovery. It's been, it's been a long time. Uh, I spent this entire COVID period um, from when it first began in, in either a hospital or confined to my bed at home. And uh, I have seen firsthand how deadly serious this is. Um, and, and I take it very seriously and I just wish everybody took it seriously because it's stupid not to. But there you go. Um, this is a day in my life. Um, it is a uh, quarter after five Eastern Standard Time. And um, I am in my, my garage. And uh, I'll give you a quick pan of the garage. This is the workbench area. So you can see that. And hi again. <laughs> um, this is a workbench that I built for myself since my handicap. And um, there you go. 
It's, uh, I sit at this table. It's a much higher table, um, but it gives me an opportunity to, to sit down and, and uh, fix things because that's what I am still good at. In this garage is a bunch of things that is part of my <clears throat> physical therapy. I'm, I'm trying to uh, you know, fix things. While I'm at it, let me show you this. Um, this is a project that I started. I have a, a crate. Uh, I'll show you down there. But a crate full of door hinges, metal door hinges, that I've had for probably 20 plus years. Didn't throw them away because... That's what I always did because sometimes, you know, it's there's always a, a time when you're going to need stuff. Anyway, this is what I've done is uh, with jigsaw. You can see the, the jig that I set up for the jigsaw, but I've been turning them into iron butterflies. And what my intention with this project is to... Um, is to hang these things, suspend them from a mobile. Right now I've got uh, one, two, three, and then <clears throat> another one in the making, but that's for another time. Uh, moving around the workshop, uh, I, I don't want to call myself handicapped. I am definitely disabled, but I don't want to call myself that either. Um, I guess I'm calling myself uh, a recovering <laughs> recovering spinal fusion patient. That's what I am. Uh, this stuff right here, oh, there's the um, the Roomba, which I don't know how rich people do this, but this Roomba will not work unless somebody comes along and takes apart all of this stuff and pulls out the cat hair and, and all that stuff. So that's what I mean is this shop is, uh, it's a place that I can do stuff. And keeping myself busy is a really important thing. Um, keeping myself awake is another thing, but that, that's another story that has to do with the fatigue that I, I feel all the time from this surgery. And, and I'm not talking about that today either. What I want to talk to you folks about, whoever sees this, this video, um, whatever there is that they do see of it, um, I hope you don't mind that I am going to eat while, while I am working on I haven't been eating very well, but, you know, so that's a good thing that that's a good thing. Notice all the letters and everything are going to be backwards. That's so I could see from my cell phone what I'm doing. So, um, yeah, I've got a pretty neat little shop that I'm working on. One of the cha one of the things that I am working toward. <clears throat> Hang on a minute. There you go. So one of the things that I am working toward, uh, you know, with the butterflies and everything, is is I've been teaching myself how to weld. Um, creating a metal sculpture or creating multiple metal sculptures is on my bucket list of things that I want to accomplish before I leave this existence. I'll talk to you a little bit more in a few minutes. For now, what I want to do is um, get started on some of the projects that I have going on out here. 
and uh, share that with you.